Krishna Studies Class 12 and now we are starting a new lesson that is lesson 11 and uh, this is marketing management and student though this lesson is lengthy but still it is very easy and it is one of the interesting lesson as many topic of this lesson we all are in contact with like advertising, salesperson, packaging, branding. So these are certain known words to all to all of us so it will make it very easier for us to understand it also and uh, um, and so let's start the lesson so what is the meaning of market we start with the meaning of market so the term market refers to the place where buyer and seller gather to enter into transaction involving the exchange of goods and service so it is a place where both the person that is the buyer the one who wants to sell the good uh, sorry who wants to purchase the good and the seller the one who is selling the product they both meet at a point and what they used to do for the transaction transaction of what means selling of goods and services exchanging of goods and services exchange for what exchange for money clear so market is a place where buyer and seller they gather to enter into transaction involving the exchange of goods and services and student market is actually not on the place rather it is meeting of buyer and seller means the buyer they used to meet the seller at a physical location and the term market is referred to that place I mean, uh, and it means it is buyer and seller can conduct business without meeting at a place by telephone by mail and nowadays by internet isn't it means now physical presence of market is not necessary and uh, one more thing this market with the means with this word market it also suggests the nature of the product which is traded like cloth market car market means just by the name itself we get an idea that which kind of market it is clear now let's see the marketing marketing as a human activity directed at satisfying needs and want through exchange process and it's said by philip kotler so what is marketing it is an human activity satis uh, and it is done to satisfy the need and want there these need and want has already been explained to you all but still uh, means uh, in short i will uh, like to explain you what is need is so need is the basic human requirement like food shelter clothing uh, in order to survive and what is want need it give rise to want like suppose a person may feel in need of food but when he desire fried fr uh, fried rice burger so what is this his need becomes a want so this is what a difference between need and want so the any human activity which is done to satisfy need and want through exchange process exchange process means exchange of goods and services for money so this is known as marketing and it is according to philip kotler and student always remember one point that while you are uh, uh, quoting any line like your uh, this marketing definition has been quoted by philip kotler so if you're writing the name like philip kotler so each and every word has to be written in the same way clear so now let's see the marketing concept as based on following pillars so what are those pillars of marketing concept identification of market or customers means if suppose one wants to start a business okay so what the very first thing the person would like to do would like to identify the market or customer for their product means which kind of market suits them isn't it like suppose if uh, i am going to uh, make uh, like sari i want to do the business of sari so what will be the market for my business of sari so first we need to identify that market clear like women's definitely they are going to purchase the sari but the women of which place like uh, in india 
we prefer wearing sari but in foreign country won't so the suitable market for me will be india then understanding needs and wants of customer now after i have identified the market or the customer now the second point is that what is the need and want of customer which kind of sari the customer the ladies of nowadays they are they like to wear okay means some ready made sari which they need not to tie up they just wear it and it is uh, ready to wear sari you may say <laughs> something like that so because as uh, we all know draping sari takes a uh, time so on understanding this need and want of the customer some easy uh, way of wearing sari can be done then developing goods and services to satisfy customer need means according to the need of the customer like as i have already told you that uh, because uh, the ladies they uh, though they want to uh, wear sari but because it take too much of time so they don't uh, want to uh, spoil that much of time so just un understanding the needs and want so, suppose i have developed uh, the sari which one can only uh, by uh, easy going they can tie up the sari with the help of some hooks or buttons so what am i going to do i am developing the goods to satisfy my customers need clear means the sari which a lady they can take only 2 to 3 minutes to wear the perfect sari then satisfying customer needs better than the competitors because as we know in the market i am not only the one who is going to uh, make such type of sari there 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 might be 10 more competitors so what i need to do i have to satisfy my customer better than my competitors then obviously doing all this for profit because profit is the motive of behind any kind of business you can't do business without earning profit so this all thing has to be done for the motive of profit only so this is the marketing concept okay discuss about the marketing concept so on that basis let's see the features of marketing so what are the features of marketing the features are need and want creating a market offering customer value and exchange mechanism so let's see all these points one by one so the very first point says the process of marketing helps marketer in obtaining what individual need and want so means what need and uh, it is knowing the need and want of the customer and on that basis collecting the information means the marketer they collect the information for developing the product the very first thing what they used to do they find out what are what is the need what is the want of the customer and according to that only they have to manufacture the product or they have to produce the product then creating a market offering market offering refers to a complete offer for a product or service having given features like size quality taste for the purpose of selling so now the marketer with their wide variety range size of the product is creating a offer for market means suppose uh, there is a market of lcd okay means there is a company they are selling lcd tv but they are only producing suppose 52 inch of tv okay but now there are many customer who require like 22 inch of tv also 30 inch of tv also so what about them so what is the purpose of the uh, marketer to give means there should be features like size quality and because of the that price also affect all price also affect because 52 inch of tv and 22 inch of tv they may have uh, different price also with the size price will also reduce or uh, increase isn't it maybe means i am not able to purchase that costly tv or my house it doesn't have that much of space that i can put 52 inch of tv on my wall so these are certain factors means the marketer they should provide a complete offer for a product means there should be different size quality taste for every uh, customer then customer value customers values are uh, the product on the basis of satisfaction and service offered by the product means what happens when you go to market and purchase product you uh, see that uh, is it value for money or not isn't it means the amount you are spending in purchasing any product is the product gives you that much of satisfaction or not so therefore it is it is said that the product satisfaction 
is more important means the customer it values the product on the basis of the satisfaction being provided by that product then exchange mechanism the process of marketing involves exchange of goods and services for money or valuable consideration so there is exchange mechanism means the one person is giving product and the customer they are giving money means what is happening over here exchange of product in terms in uh, return to something that is money clear so this is all about the uh, features of marketing now let's see the last uh, point of this video that is what can be marketed okay means a uh, product what is a product it is a bundle of utility or source of satisfaction that can be used for satisfying human needs and want and the product it does not only include some physical object like tv so biscuit but it also include value such as uh, service means physical product is a thing which can be marketed but with that services are also marketed idea person uh, it will be place student sorry place experience organization event information isn't it uh, let me give you some example like physical product like your uh, tv fridge cooler then what are the services services like uh, healthcare services computer education so these are certain kinds of services which are being marketed you must have seen in the advertisement like different companies they used to uh, market their product uh, sorry services also then certain ideas are also marketed ideas like swachh bharat abhiyan is an idea it is also marketed then comes your uh, person means uh, what happened at the time of election the uh, candidates they are marketed and they are the voters they are uh, the voters they are convinced to vote for them isn't it so what is the person has been marketed then what about place like tourist place agra ek din uh, one that uh, ad which says kuch din to guzariye bitaiye gujarat mein that that is also means the uh, advertisement or the marketing of a place has been done over there then your uh, experience experience like um, like lunch uh, they some advertisement says they say na okay you win this and you will be getting experience of uh, having lunch with a celebrity or uh, riding in amusement park so such kind of thing has also been marketed then comes your uh, organization like uh, tata hindustan unilever so these are certain uh, organization like uh, apple says think different idea the uh, idea what uh, says that an idea can change your life so this is an organization means advertisement of organ organize uh, marketing of organization has been done then certain in events events uh, like diwali cricket world cup so these are certain events these are also marketed and information information like stock market information you may say you get these information also on uh, daily or regular basis the, these are also marketed so what are these these are certain things which can be marketed so student this is all about this video and uh, in next video we will see about different marketing management philosophy so thank you take care and please student do like share and subscribe the video and uh, in case of any doubt you can ask me through comment box thank you